Hey everyone, it's Naomi Lachance with TYT Investigates, and I'm here to tell you about my most recent story, which is about water privatization in the state of New Jersey. So, last November, the city of Atlantic City was taken over by the state government. What that means is that any decisions by elected officials uh, any sort of municipal decisions now go through Chris Christie and the private law firm that he has hired to run the state takeover. Now this has really concerned a lot of advocates particularly in terms of public water and um, water availability. Now Atlantic City really doesn't have that bad of a water system especially compared to a lot of New Jersey. It's not that expensive, it doesn't need that many repairs, um, but the city is considering selling off the water system um, perhaps to a prominent uh, private company such as New Jersey American Water or Suez. Um, and now that's very concerning to a lot of advocates who say that water is a public good, it should be publicly available because what's shown is that when a private company takes over a water system, prices tend to go up significantly um, as opposed to when water is a public good. A man named Jeff Chiesa is now in charge of the majority of the decisions in Atlantic City. His law firm Chiesa, Shanahan, and Joe Massey is uh, in charge of the majority of the decisions and that firm has actually billed the state more than three million dollars according to documents that I obtained from the state. Uh, for his work on Atlantic City. Um, now that's a variety of services, um, including work on bonds, on the city council, uh, and on public utilities work. Um, now the reason people are very concerned about the potential of a state takeover is because it takes out a lot of public voice in decision making, so publicly elected officials are no longer in charge um, Chiesa's work is not subject to FOIA um, or a records request, so there you lose a lot of transparency. And uh, city employees are no longer able to um, use collective bargaining in their unions, um, so Chiesa has actually proposed significant layoffs to firefighters and police officers in the state, and they have been fighting that in court. Um, it remains to be seen what sorts of layoffs will take place, but people are very concerned because they feel as though they don't have quite as much say anymore in what happens in their government. Um, now, one step that they've taken to try to address that is that in July, a, an ordinance was passed saying that if the water system does get sold off, the city, the people of the city do have to vote to approve it. So that does reintroduce some public say, but um, it's still largely in the hands of this private law firm um, run by Jeff Chiesa. One thing that's important to know about Jeff Chiesa, particularly given how expensive his work in Atlantic City has been for the state and for taxpayers, is that he has a very long history of working with Chris Christie. Um, they first worked together at a law firm in the early 90s. Um, he helped Christie on his transition to being governor. Um, Christie appointed him to New Jersey Attorney General, and Christie actually appointed him to be New Jersey State Senator when a senator died in 2013. Now, Chiesa, for his part, has donated significantly um, about a little more than $10,000, according to documents I reviewed, to Christie's campaign and to his PAC. Um, so they have really had a long history of working together. The pattern that I've shown in Atlantic City is that a lot of long-term Christie aides and allies have an opportunity to sort of cash in on the state takeover. So for example, another firm, Gibbons PC, um, has received a fair amount of work in Atlantic City and according to documents I reviewed, donated more than $50,000 to Chris Christie's presidential campaign. Um, now one of the members of that law firm is Bill Palatucci, a longtime Christie uh, ally who denies his involvement in Atlantic City specifically, um, that's what he said to me, but it still shows, um, you know, a long, long-term long loyalty. Another person involved here is Philip Norcross, who's a lobbyist for American Water, and whose brother is George Norcross, who is a 
huge power broker in southern New Jersey and holds a lot of sway on politics in the state. When you look specifically at the water companies that are considering buying Atlantic City's water supply, you see that a lot of the people involved in the companies have long-standing ties to Christie. Um, so, for example, Suez and American Water both supported Christie's nonprofit, Choose New Jersey, as has Chiesa's firm. American Water donated $50,000 to the Republican Governors Association when Christie was the chair in 2015. And there are a lot of lobbyists or former lobbyists for Suez and American Water who have long-standing ties to Christie, which is very concerning for advocates of uh, public disclosure and ensuring that the public process is not beholden to private interests but is beholden to the taxpayers' interests. So what I've really found in my reporting is that although the state takeover was advertised basically to be a way to save the city from bankruptcy, what's really been happening is that people stand to lose their um, work benefits, they stand to lose their jobs, they stand to lose a voice in uh, government process and they stand to have their water become much more expensive. Meanwhile, uh, Christie allies are really cashing in on an opportunity and it's been very lucrative for some of them, particularly Chiesa's firm. Um, if you're interested in learning more, uh, seeing more details, I encourage you to check out the written version of this piece and thank you so much for tuning in with me today.